So what do you have to say about uh, color decor and lighting? The lighting, uh, right from the car porch to the sitting, uh, they've, they've paid attention in the sense that uh, they have done it well. There, are lo there is fall ceiling right from sit out. Mm -hmm. So the lighting aspect is good. I think uh, the artificial lighting, they've, uh, they've done that uh, very well. You see, um, uh, even lights on the steps. Uh, near then there are those glass pillars so I would say they've done a little extra but still uh, it the quality of light is good in the inside the house the wallpaper I noticed they've put it even under the stairs I've never seen that uh, yeah okay. uh, but um, uh, when you're doing something go for subtler uh, prints um, mm -hmm. or something which matches with the rest of the decor the floor and the wood tile they are all very rich they've done um, very expensive marble wood uh, on the whole but there is a small clash like for the scale of the house and that in your opinion uh, see decor they have tried a lot of things mm -hmm. i think wood is a little too much in the house and they have given enough uh, artificial lighting so mm -hmm. that will always add to the ambience then uh, decor is kind of uh, very very specific to each spaces mm -hmm. they've gone for very uh, ornate patterns of fabrics I think the better space is kitchen. Mm -hmm. Kitchen they have done very well, means it's not full. Mm -hmm. uh, they have you know space arranged. Uh, though wood is used predominantly, it looks good. Uh, comparing to the other spaces in the house, I think kitchen is the best. And the overall ambience? Overall ambience, it's a luxurious, very big house. Otherwise, uh, they've paid attention to details, but it's it's more of a you f feel there is a clutter inside because of too mm -hmm. many details, too many things. Otherwise, it's a very portion luxurious house in that room. Uh, ambience is good. They could have done wonders, means with the budget they have spent on the house. So, ambience is generally good, but not the best. They could have done wonders. Uh, Anna, how much would you like to give, give for uh, exterior landscape form and character? This is a very big house, but it's so predictable. Like, like you see in olden times, you have a long driveway, two sides you have garden, but that garden area is not uh, as expansive, it's actually narrow. Uh, I've given 18 on 25 for the elevation. Okay. I think I go with her uh, judgment because uh, they could have done much better. Mm -hmm. uh, it's very predictable. You have a long drive, you have a house at the end of it, and you drive into the porch like a loop and then come out. This is very common. There mm -hmm. is nothing new in it. With the kind of land they had, I think they could have tried a little more. And the land they have in the backside, even, they could have engaged it into the house or push okay. the house even backwards and mm -hmm. give the whole front yard for, uh, for the landscape mm -hmm. and mo make it more interesting. Mm -hmm. uh, instead of having uh, a couple of trees here and there, uh, you could have a better orchard kind of feel with a good driveway, like driving into an estate house, uh -huh, something right, like that. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I think I'll give only 18. Now to the interior of flooring and kitchen. Interior flooring and kitchen, I've given them 18. Mm -hmm. uh, the woodwork is heavy. Uh, it is good, there's nothing bad, it's just that it's a little too much. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Interiors are, I feel it's overdone. Certain areas are so full that you feel like uh, moving to a, a kind of open area. Mm -hmm. uh, some areas like the dining area, it's mm -hmm. very, very full. Means a little lesser use of wallpaper, little less, lesser use of wood. Would have made uh, the house totally different. And some dark color tiles cladding, for cladding which they have used should have been changed into something light or even maybe a regular painting would have done a mm -hmm. lot of difference. And then certain uh, planning methods like the courtyard which we were talking about earlier, uh, instead of having it on the side with the window facing, it should have come to the center of the house mm -hmm. with uh, rooms facing towards there. Mm -hmm. It should have made a lot of difference. Uh, and same with the pool and uh, the back, back areas and uh, all that put together will give only 18. Okay. Now what do you have to say on uh, color decor lighting? When you talk about an accent, like a wallpaper or a cladding, it should be minimal. Mm -hmm. That's what your eye is looking for, for a small, small punch of something. Mm -hmm. But here, you have wallpapers, you have cladding, they've used it too much. So your eye is confused, whether should you look at the top or on the wall. So uh, there's nothing wrong in using it. Just use it on one wall or a particular area to highlight. If there's nothing special in a room, give a highlight on one wall, that would be the best way. So I've given them uh, 20 on 25. I think the overall decorum is just average. I've given only 18. Okay. Uh, Anna, your remarks on overall ambience? Overall ambience from outside, it looks very rich and impressive. 
but uh, personally I feel uh, when you are make if you have a good budget and a good land your aim should be making a it shouldn't be more square feet area it should be better spaces mm -hmm. you're actually going to use it more than anybody else so uh, if you can't make out from the plan you should actually go check out houses uh, done by the same person and all that and then the usable part mm -hmm. you should give more importance than mm -hmm. putting every material that's in that's uh, available right now so that is a trend now but i guess we have to be more practical and more uh, choosy in uh, selecting things. I have given them 19 or 25. And you are? Uh, Ambience is uh, just okay. Means, uh, they could have done much better. Uh, I think the lighting is also a little uh, overly warm. Mm -hmm. Means Instead of using the ex uh, land available to mo make a spreaded out house with good natural lighting, they went for a lot of artificial lighting. Mm -hmm. Even that is an important factor. Like I, I was telling about the living room, which they went for a partition. Mm -hmm. Instead of splitting the space into a separate area, uh, and giving a courtyard and then generating privacy from that. Uh, they went for such a detailing. And uh, the, uh, uh, one more thing I think uh, what they had in mind is to have a very symmetrical kind of form, like mm -hmm. a build up, like, uh, like a castle kind of form with a, a big roofing pattern which can be viewed from the distance. Probably mm -hmm. they kind of worked reverse on the form first and then ca came back into the spaces mm -hmm. and then they detailed into the interiors. So uh, probably that changed the whole ambience of the house. I would give 18. So Kamalil House from Kodamagalam secures 75 from Anna, 72 from Arun and 37 from Public and that makes a total of 184 out of 250. So let me wind up the show. We will be back with more houses.